Hello peeps. Right, so what's been going on in Shay's Diggler for the past couple of months? I haven't put any videos up. Not a lot. I've had a herniated disc, so been a bit uh, laid up. But what have I been up to? Well, the Alpicol. Is it an Alpicol? I can't even remember. I Seco. I can't even remember what make it is. I pulled the label off. But anyway, I did a unboxing and a test on it with a watt meter. And nine months later, it's still running perfectly. I've been using it in the van, I use it in my spare room. This is my spare room. I keep all my Star Wars toys and Christmas stuff and inverters and life PO4 batteries. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, fridge still working absolutely perfectly. Display is a bit off. Um, that says 10 degrees, but it's bloody cold inside. Any less than 10 degrees and the milk starts to crystallise. So. Um, most other fridges are about 6 degrees, I don't know whether this is off or the other fridges are off, who knows, anyway. Um, bought myself a Renergy 1000 watt inverter to go in my shed, so I can use the batteries in the shed charged by solar to charge my tool batteries. Um, I've got getting on for 30 battery tools now, so rather than buy 12 volt adapters for Stanley Fat Max, um, DeWalt and Parkside, which Parkside don't do well anyway, it actually worked out four pound more expensive to buy this inverter than it did to buy the two 12 volt to 24 volt power tool adapters so yeah it would just complicate the wiring a bit more uh, and trust me it really makes my brain itch that i have to convert 25 volt solar panels to 12 volt battery back up to 240 volt to transform it back down to 25 volt again just so i can charge a power tool or in this case a morphe richards vacuum cleaner that came in the scrap via a Dyson charge brick anyway that irks me somewhat shall we say anyway um, George my lithium battery built for me by off-grid van life first time it's actually been used to discharge it's been sitting in my bedroom for nine months and I finally got around to using it and he's working fine um, so it's been sitting for nine months and the cell deviation was 0 0.001 of a volt. Um, it's, it's at 13.2 volts, which is pretty meaningless. Um, 66% is pretty meaningless. Um, it was fully charged and then just stuck in the corner of a bedroom, which is why it's so dusty. But you can see, uh, let's see if, you, if you can see the cell voltage difference there. Is it gonna, it's between one millivolt and three millivolts it skips about it's drawing 2.8 amps this is the standard um, DALI BMS Bluetooth app works perfectly fine does everything I want it to do um, yeah there you go George is finally working on something even though as I say it's a brain itch of a, a job 25 volts to 12 volts to 240 volts back to 25 volts again but what are you going to do this is actually believe it or not it's not the most efficient way of doing it, but it's the cheapest way of doing it. Anyway, the uh, Renergy 1000 Watt, it's got a UPS function where you plug it into the mains. You can see there, you plug it into the mains and when the mains fails, it automatically swaps over to the battery within 50 milliseconds apparently. I haven't tested it yet, I've got no reason to. I've got mains in the shed, I will run the mains in through it, but the intention is to use this for charging off the uh, solar anyway. And if I like it, I'll buy one for the van, because, you know, why not make my van wiring more complicated? It needs a bit more complicating up. Anybody who's been following my uh, conversion knows how complicated it already is. But there you go. It's not really a review, but the uh, Daddy 100 amp BMS works perfectly. It sits there, does its job. Um, as I say, I've been charging up this vacuum for the past two hours or so still drawing 2.8 amps out of the battery which I, I've got no idea how to do the conversion to equate what that equates to I'm sure it will tell me on that plug if I unplugged it how many amps it takes at 240 but it all works so that's all I'm bothered about so there'll be updates coming soon now my back's got a bit better um, and I hope to see you soon in the back of the van I may even do some scrapping Tar peeps. <laughs>